Are you a new out school teacher? Are you struggling getting your classes booked? Are you still trying to figure out your niche? If you answered yes to any of those questions, I definitely recommend you stick around and watch today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of videos specifically about teaching and working online from home. In today's video, I'm really going to focus on out school and how I recommend you start finding your out school niche. I have four very simple steps I recommend you follow as you're starting to find your niche on out school. Now, I want this video to be as practical as possible. So I'm making it very step by step by step. So step number one to starting to find your niche on OutSchool is to actually make a list. And I am going to do that behind me now. Okay, and I'm hoping the glare is not too bad here, but on my board, I have a section, my passions, I have a section about my teaching personality and I have a section about my experience. So let's go ahead and dive into every single section. We're going to make a list together first of your passions. So for this section, I want you to sit down and really think about what are you passionate about? What do you enjoy doing for fun? If you are a teacher, what are subjects you really enjoy teaching? I want you to try to write down five or six different passions. Okay, so you can see on my board, I wrote down five of my passions. Now I want you to pause this video and just quickly think about your own passions. Next, we're going to go to your style. And what do I really mean by style? I'm talking about your personality, whether it is as a teacher or just a person. I want you to write down five or six qualities, styles, personalities, just five or six words that really describe you as an individual or a teacher. Okay, so here I have my style. This is really focused on my teaching style. Now, the last one is your experience. So I want you to write down different age groups you have experience with. Okay, so now to my experience, you can see I have a few bullet points here. I'm really focusing obviously on my teaching experience. So as I mentioned, I want you to do something very similar. I want you to get a piece of paper, write down a few of your passions, write down your style of teaching or your personality qualities. And then I want you to write down your experience. This can obviously be in teaching or it can be in one of your passions. So step one was make a list. Let's go ahead to step number two. So for step number two, I want you to start brainstorming class ideas. Now I do have a few videos on my YouTube channel already that might be very helpful. Some of these include out school ongoing class ideas, how I create and plan an ongoing class, my tips and tricks, how I plan an out school class step by step. Now, after this video, I definitely recommend you go and check out some of those videos. Those will definitely help you through the brainstorming process, especially that first one about ongoing out school class ideas, because those ideas can work for one time classes, ongoing classes, multi-day classes, flex classes, and I have over 50 ideas in that video. So I definitely recommend checking those out, but you want to start brainstorming and writing down different ideas. So for example, if it were me, these are some of my brainstorming ideas I might have. So just keep writing your ideas. I want you to brainstorm and just put all of your ideas on a piece of paper. Whatever your brain is thinking, just start writing it down. Now, step number three. Step number three is probably the hardest yet easiest step in finding your niche, if that makes sense. So step number three is to actually start creating your lessons and teaching. Now, of course, this section is a lot easier said than done. I do have a few YouTube videos that I've created really going through how to create lessons, how I teach and create lessons. So I definitely recommend you check those out. So if you have any questions about the lesson planning process or class creation, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Remember, that's how I come up with my YouTube video ideas. A lot of it has to do with what I think 
people might find helpful, what people email me about, and then the comments that are left in my YouTube videos. So never hesitate to reach out if you have any questions for me. Now, step number four is to reflect. And I feel like this step is very, very important. You need to sit down, record, analyze your data, analyze your teaching style, and really reflect and think about what classes are doing well and what classes are not. So in my experience so far as an out-school teacher, I've noticed it's really trial and error. A lot of the classes I first created barely got booked and I do not teach them anymore. Through that process, I started to find my niche and really find what I enjoy teaching online. So when I sit down and reflect, there's a few things I like to record. I like to record what time I teach a class, how many learners I have in that class, what age group I have in that class, and then the type of class. And then I try to find some patterns. Granted, sometimes it is hard because I can say in the summer, my one-time classes were doing phenomenal, but they have definitely slowed down and my ongoing classes are doing very well right now. But you do want to try to find patterns and you want to see what type of classes are booking well for you and which type are not. I definitely think it's trial and error. Just remember, especially if you're new on the platform, do not give up easily and try not to compare yourself to other teachers. I really know it's easier said than done, but definitely try. Don't give up. Be patient. Put forth some effort and I know in the end you will definitely see some results. Now that wraps up today's video. I hope you found the information helpful and I hope this video really helps you start to find your niche on OutSchool. I really think OutSchool is a wonderful opportunity for so many people and if you ever have questions do not hesitate to ask me. You can send me an email or you can just leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye!